always really, really proud of the effort and intensity of our players tonight on the defensive end and even on the boards. Buffalo is a team that is close to the top 10, top 15 in the country and they're rebounding. And to tie them when we were at Buffalo was a big reason why we won. And then to be ahead uh, by 10 here uh, really says a lot about how you're changing the game. You know, they're scoring a lot if you watch them on their second or third attempt. And, and if you don't give that to them, it makes night a little, the night a little harder for them. It takes away what they're used to and accustomed to getting. And so, you know, that was something that we really stressed. Now, the unfortunate thing is they still got 17 offensive rebounds. That's a lot. But if you look at what this team does night in, night out, I mean, their, their rebounding margin against other teams is, is pretty impressive. Uh, so first of all, proud of that. Second of all, I can't say enough about Janice Monacana. Uh, to be the 26th player to score 1,000 points in a Rocket uniform, um, she, really, she really got beat up today and just kept on coming. I, I think that her leadership as a senior, you know, both she, both she and Sophie Reeker are just great leaders. They give energy, they understand the game, they help teach. They're like having another assistant coach on the court. Um, but to watch Janice develop through the years has really been a lot of fun um, because, you know, she's that player you know you can count on. And even when it got physical, you know, and I kept asking you, all right, she wanted to stay in the basketball game. She wanted to finish things. And, you know, she really just cared about winning, and it wasn't even about how many she scored tonight. But it was great to see her have a great night and to finish that off. Uh, but second, it was great to see us shoot from the free throw line the way we did. It's been a long season for us from the free throw line, and it's something that we've spent a lot of time at. And so it's, it's really nice tonight to see all that hard work that we spent in the gym pay off. Um, and we needed to tonight because it was a very physical game with a lot of free throws. It was also a game that was hard to get in the flow uh, because of a lot of stop of your play. And, and so I'm proud of the fact we stayed focused and we were able to finish the game. I also just want to say I'm very proud of Michaela Boyd. I mean, this is, I don't know how many games that we've had where she's been so close to a triple-double, and we've only had one player in the history of our program that's ever accomplished that feat. Her effort has just been phenomenal. And, uh, you know, I just applaud how hard she plays and what she brings to our team. I think she's a senior playing with a sense of urgency. Uh, she understands what's at stake and how much time she has left, and she's making the most of it. And it's, it's really contagious with the rest of her teammates. And I love that as a coach because she's bringing it, and, and she's inspiring others to bring it too. Well, I think we shared the ball well during that time. I thought we were patient. Um, you know, and, and we were able to get good looks because we were running things effectively. Plus, we got out on the break and hit some layups. Um, but I just like the focus that we had, you know, and it's important. And the good thing is we have some depth. We, we circulated a lot of kids kind of in and out um, because we knew it was going to be physical and, and try to rest some kids at different times. But every kid I put in really gave everything they had. Well, I, I'm excited about this matchup because I didn't think, number one, we played very well. Number two, I think there's some things I could have done to have helped us be even better in that last matchup, and that's why I'm glad we get to face them again. It's not an easy game. You know, they've got one of the best players in the MAC on their team. She's a very difficult matchup, and then they've surrounded her by three-point shooters. I don't think they get enough credit for their defense. Um, but one thing I will say, they left a lot of us open here, and we just we were going through the biggest shooting drought ever <laughs> during that stretch. So we made it easier for them to guard us. And I think with every miss, it, they, they packed it in even tighter. Uh, so I'm excited that we have a second go around uh, to tweak some things we did defensively to hopefully guard them more effectively. But to know we played as poorly as we did to only to be right in the game gives me hope that if we tweak a couple things that we can make this a game on Saturday. And I think our team is very eager to show that we're better than what we played when we saw them here. Well, I think we're gaining momentum and we're also getting healthy. Uh, the one thing that was disappointing during the three game stretch where we were losing is that we were really banged up and we were injured and the continuity of not having people in practice and then trying to throw them out there in a the game and just hope they magically perform well, that's a fairy tale land. You know, when you actually get a chance to practice and go through the reps and get used to all of the reps, you know, it's you've got to do that every day. You've got to shoot free throws every day if you're going to be a good free throw shooter. You've got to do the, you've got to run through those offensive sets and defensive things every day. And some of those kids were missing those reps and we looked like it. 
we looked like a lot of missing parts out there. And I think the one thing you're seeing is this team's had time to get together, work on things, improve, and be the team we were earlier in the season. Well, some of that was our defense, and some of that was Joanna having a rough night. Uh, because there were a few times, more than a few times, that I saw her in transition wide open. She just missed the shot. She's a great player, and I know she'll bounce back from that. But I think we did make her work, and that probably frustrated her at times, and, and that I'm proud of. Yeah, and you know, sometimes that's what it takes, is getting after somebody oh. early. Uh, Mariella did a good job on her uh, here and up in Buffalo. Uh, but I do think we still got to get better in transition. A couple times we left some people wide open. Thank you for coming.